that's, that's not the case. It's not the case. But I mean, I've been in this program four years, and, uh, and I pretty much felt like I, I contributed well. If I, I'm not saying I'm gonna leave, but if I, if I did, I don't think I would be selfish. But, but I do want to come back and have that uh, that dominant dominant season. But I do want to see what I stand at first as well as in the uh, evaluation. Of the NFL. As a technician, what what needs the most work? What is it? It's just not. Uh, it's just not letting that one weight catch up with you. And, uh, uh, around this time, that's when you catch all that weight and the guys lose their uh, technique and because they get fatigued. And uh, just my main thing is just stay on top of uh, on my weight and uh, condition well. And so I take these a bold condition practice. I play the condition hey, well. Up, I go real hard. Hey, Christian, you know what I'm saying? Christian, what's up? Uh, no, I just take the uh, condition real well and go real hard. So if I can stay on top of my uh, condition and play the high level. Um, I think Jordan said during the spring, Hyatt went against Shaq Lawson every day. I guess that continued into the fall of camp. Do you remember those matchups? Seeing a free freshman go against the best team in the country? Well, well we expected Shaq to uh, beat, beat Hyatt. Shaq was a veteran. You know? We expect nothing else but Shaq to beat be Hyatt, every, uh, Mitch Hyatt every time. But Mitch Hyatt lived up to to his expectations, and uh, he played really well this season. Yeah, we thank him for this country. Yeah, I mean, can you think that the better kind of training ground than to go against guys like yourself or going against Shaq in practice? Is that kind of what you think got him up to speed and then the open way go against guys like you in practice? I mean, his his skill set got what got him here, and uh, but I mean, I'm, of course, going against Shaq Lawson probably just polished it up and got him a little better and taught him some things that he probably didn't know. And this program and the coach, Coach Caldwell, do a good job of, of getting these guys ready. But going against Shaq probably helped him out a little bit. But his skills, I mean, you can't you can't take any one thing away from him. He, he got a scholarship from Clemson. What did you enjoy most about yourself this season? Uh. Uh, um, I had the most, what I learned the most about myself, uh, that my confidence should have been here a long time ago, but, uh, and uh, I haven't been in the past years that my confidence level just wasn't there, and now I'm at my all-time high versus confidence-wise, and it's kind of hard to steal that confidence away from me. When I, when I watch film, I feel like I can beat this guy. I can beat him. Be him and today, Austin Bryan made a comment. He was like, Dog, why you feel like you can beat everybody? It's just confidence level. I, I just feel like I can beat him. And if, if I can, I see him game day. Kevin, the last time you all went down to Miami, uh, you're really focused as a team. Seemed like a business trip. Might have played your most complete game as a team. Um, do you get to have more fun because you're there a, bit, a little bit longer for the bowl game, or uh, is it because of what you have in front of you and what to play for that does that kind of take you know the, the fun aspect out of it? I mean, we, we're going to have our, our fun when it's time to have fun when, when, when we do all the little events with the team. And, and like early in the week, coach let us leave. Let us leave the hotel. We're going to leave the hotel. But, but when it's time to focus up, we're going gonna to focus up and do our job and, and approach it as a business expert. And uh, we just do, do, do what's said. Never take your, uh, take your mind completely off the game. So when you're having fun, you know, you got to keep take into consideration that you're about to play a game. So you're not going to go out and stay up yeah, to 3 o'clock in the morning when you got that practice the next day. You're, really, you're going to have an efficient practice. You won't want to get your rest. So we, we all take that into consideration when we uh, do what we have to do. Everybody's, every day is a discussion about playoff, top team, this team. There's been discussion for the last two weeks, Alabama, should they be here? Did, I mean, you, uh, in your mind, should there be any doubt as to who the best the team is at this point? We, we understand that we got to prove it. We had to prove it all, all year. I mean, nobody put Clemson in front of anyone that we played. And uh, you know, the only thing we did, we just went out and proved it. Proved that uh, we could play and we uh, deserve to be in the uh, college playoffs. So uh, now that we're here, we got, to, we got to prove that we belong here. We got to, we got to go, uh, win a game. That's the object. Is it, is, it, I mean, is it different? I mean, you've been here for four years. Is it feel different? I mean, every time you go to the practice game, every time you go to work out there, you're the, you go in and you're part of the number one team in the country. Or does it feel, I mean, just almost just, uh, I don't know, does it feel different? Does it feel like just the atmosphere in general? Just what you're trying to protect, preserve, and hold on to? 
Yeah, I feel like we played 13 games and we're about to play 14. That's what I feel like. Yeah, uh, yeah but I mean, it's whole attitude. We all got a different attitude. We, we carry ourselves as champions. And, but we don't want to get too cocky. We, we know we got work to do. And, uh, we, uh, basically, we just work hard and, and grind and play and play clumps of football and don't kill ourselves and polish up our own our own uh, area, uh, minor areas that we do throughout the course of the game. If we can get those fixed, I feel, feel, feel pretty good about this one. Are you going to turn in anything for in paperwork for the NFL draft? Thought about that yet? Oh, uh, I have. I have. I actually, man, Coach Lane uh, put me down at one of the guys to uh, see where I stand as an evaluation standpoint. Is it, is it just to test the waters, or are you thinking about coming out, or what? Anything can happen, but uh, no, nah, I'm not thinking about coming. I'm not thinking about coming back. Uh, I feel like I can come back for next season and uh, be pretty good. But anything can happen, you know. Like I, I don't been here. I served my time. And, but I also want to want to fill that leadership role. I want to uh, uh, go into my senior season saying uh, I'm the senior. That's my defense, and, uh, and we're gonna have a great year. Your gut feeling tells you that you'll be back next year. You have to have an idea, generally. Because most of you feel like you will be back. No. I should. Is, is it good to go through that process though when, when you're eligible? It's, it's good to know. You eligible, you you want to know. And who who don't want to know? The game. We we play to get to the NFL. You know, you know uh, win championships and get to the NFL. So who who not want to know where you stand in the uh, in, in the draft? So. I mean, I want to know where I stand. You, so, you talk about confidence, but in August, good. you sat right out here and you told me that you thought you could do very well. You, 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 you thought that, and I asked you, I remember asking you, I said, you felt that you could have done some of this years ago. You said, absolutely. So, does anything that took place in the field this year surprise you? Did you surprise yourself at all this year? No, nope, I did not. Uh, I knew, um, like I said, after the, uh, after the bowl game last year, I knew I was going to have an opportunity to play and, and I just needed to get myself ready and I just know the only thing that was holding me back was myself and uh, how I practiced in the previous years or, or my attitude coming to practice because of who I had in front of me and uh, I just I just didn't want to focus on that anymore and, and by them guys being there I wasn't and I just knew there wasn't nobody that was going to get in my way so I just that confidence is there and it stayed with me. Thank you, Ken. Have you had conversations with Shaq at all about the NFL, with him having already declared he will leave? Uh, we talk. We, uh, best friends, but NFL is not not our focus right now. It's not Shaq focus. He just let that come out a little earlier than it needed to be because that could be a little distraction. Right now, we're focusing on Oklahoma and getting our win, but I have talked to him, but not about NFL. What is your focus here for bowl practice? What do you want to see this defense get even better at? Just be complete. Uh, don't 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 play. I'll put on a, a clinic tape for three quarters, and then fourth quarter uh, just look like we uh, lost our minds and, and start turning guys loose. Uh, just just play a complete game and uh, basically focus on ourselves. That's that's the main key. And what stands out about Oklahoma's offense? Uh, yeah, offense. I mean, they got a uh, they got a couple uh, great receivers. I mean, uh, really great receivers. Uh, number three, eleven. Um, that quarterback, he's he's phenomenal. I mean, he's just uh, really efficient with the run, hit run, yeah, uh, and throwing the ball while he's moving. He look, he keep his eyes down downfield the whole time. Um, he can pass the ball. He, uh, I feel like he's one of the best. He's he uh he definitely gonna uh, compete hard against us. We just got to uh, contain him, keep him in front of us, and, and close that pocket on him.